Alright, what's up guys? Your boy Gasu here. Bring you guys some Paladin gameplay. I don't know where the fuck I am going, as you can see. But um it is Paladins, the game from high res. Uh people that made Smite. And um I always wanted to play this game when they announced it, but I didn't get into the beta for a while, and then I end up getting the um Overwatch beta. So I was kinda just like in between Overwatch and League and all this other stuff, working and stuff. And um, I finally got to play it, and for the past couple of days, I've been having a lot of fun. Um, they just had a new character, um, Kinesa. She's a sniper class, and in games like this, I love playing the snipers. For some reason, um, League of Legends, I play like 80 carries and some assassins. Um, but in games like this, I just like playing the snipers, like the really laid back character. Even though the character I'm playing right now, she's like a hybrid in between a sniper. And uh, up close, um, a damage threat. She does a lot of burst damage. And um, yeah, so the character that you're watching right now is Cassie. She's an archer. She uses a bow and arrow. And uh, she has a lot of good CC. Uh, she has a lot of knockups and knockback. And um, if you time your shots right, you can knock somebody up and shoot them in the air while they're falling down. And they don't have any chance to um, basically shoot back, as you see right there. Um, this is a pretty good game for me. Uh, I don't really play Cassie that much. I think it's probably like my fourth game playing her or something like that. And um, I was dominating the game for a while. Like, even though I was like dying here and there, um, you know, just being really greedy and you know, trying to make plays and stuff and get get the greedy kills. Uh, I was really doing really well. I think I ended the game with like 27 final blows, 37 um, eliminations or knockback or knockouts, which is like. Uh, including your kills and your assists. Um, so, pretty good game. Uh, had a delayed pentakill, so I had a triple kill and then ended up getting a double kill like right after. I was pretty upset that I didn't go to the pentakill, but you know, say that for next time. But yeah, as you can see, she has a really good um, AoE attack on her one. Uh, yeah, and I switched my key binders around, so that would be like the cue um, for anybody that's going to start playing this game. And, um, a lot of you people are probably going to be like, "Well, man, if you're playing Overwatch and all this, why are you playing Paladins?" And um, I don't know. I think uh, I have a lot of fun playing Overwatch, but I think I played Overwatch so much, and then the year of waiting for Overwatch, the the beta and everything to come out, uh, kind of like drained me of the game. So like right now, I just need a break um, from it. I think Overwatch is fun. I do think they need uh, more game modes and stuff, and I feel like the game modes that um. Paladins have are game modes that Overwatch can use, like um, yeah, like like this this game mode is capture and um, payload, just like in Overwatch. Uh, they have a survival um, game mode where it's just basically last man standing. Um, what else do they have? They have just straight capture, so it's just basically like CDM or hardpoint and like Call of Duty and all these other games. So uh, they have like different game modes and they're also bringing in more game modes um, from what I hear uh, from the data my sighting they're bringing in more game modes more characters so I just feel like in that case like uh, I mean overwatch might you know look better in a way of just the art form I guess and uh, some of the characters look a little bit more cooler um, and do some things but I think that if high res uh, play their their hands right and play their card right uh, they can bring in a lot of people um, from Overwatch, especially there's so many people waiting to play Overwatch. Um, if they can just, you know, put it into open beta soon, then it'll bring a lot of people in. Um, but like I said, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. Um, usually, I, I was going to stay away from this game. Um, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't, I, I was interested in the game when it, when it first was announced, but um, I didn't really, like, pay any mind. I was going to stay away from it, but I just got really bored, and I was just like, man... Let me play some, uh, let me play some, uh, Paladin to see how it is, you know, get my own feel of the game, because I do like Smite, but Smite is a game that I feel like I need to play with, play with somebody else, because I play AD Carry, and it's, it just sucks playing by yourself, really, that's how I feel about in League, like, it sucks to play AD Carry by yourself, when you don't have a support, like a support main that you're playing with, you know, it just makes the game not as much fun as, as you would like it to be. Um, but in this game, you can play by yourself, really, 
it's good to have good teammates. Trust me. There's, I had some games where some bad teammates were in my games, and uh, it didn't go so well. And I had some games where it was really balanced, and um, it was really fun. Like the games that I play are like really fun. Um, the only frustrating thing I have to say so far about this game is just that one character is just so overtuned, and she needs to be toned the fuck down. That is Sky. Sky is fucking retarded. Her kit doesn't make sense. And high res needs to take her back into the drawing board and redo her. Because you can't have an assassin that is ranged, that has incredible attack speed, has the fastest attack speed in the game, for not even for a ranged character, but just for all the characters. And on top of that, she's ranged. And on top of that, she does poison damage, so she does a dot. And when it stacks on top of you, it can 100 to 0 you in 2 seconds. And on top of that, she has invisibility. And her being damaged doesn't take her out of being invisible. And she can be getting attacked and go invisible. And she has a card that if she drops below a certain amount of health, she goes invisible. And there's not a lot of counters to her in this game because there's not a lot of hard CC in this game. There aren't stuns, there's slows, there's knockbacks as you can see. Um, the sniper character has a trap that slows her and can cripple her. But other than that, there aren't a lot of ways to deal with Sky unless you really sit on top of each other as a five-man group. Which should never be the case for any character to say, hey, the only way to counter this character is to sit on top of each other. That isn't a good way that um, the game should be balanced. I think Hyra should take her back. I mean, if she, they want her to keep her ranged, okay, I understand. If you want her to be ranged, let her be ranged, okay? Her attack speed needs to be lowered and her poison damage needs to be lowered. Um, because it just does a, a little bit too much. Or it should just do... Um, for, I don't even know. It should do either a percentage of health uh, so like if a character is low and they're able to get away from her it won't do a lot of damage but it does a lot of burst damage from the beginning or it can help her take down tank but I know that's one of the things that you know when you make an assassin you want them to be able to do enough damage so they can kill everybody not just squishies but on top of that she can kill everybody like she can literally kill every single character in the game there's no character that can handle her and they just need to tone it down. Like, that's the only character that really ruins um, my time of playing the game. It's because you can't get away from her. Like, I can be playing the sniper and I can teleport to my beacon, which can let me teleport anywhere in the map. And she'll go invisible and she'll find me and she'll kill me. And that's just what it is. And even though, like, some of her, some of the sniper kits have ways to deal with her, like, you teleport back to your teleporter, you get healed, and then you can also reduce the time where her poison lasts on you. The poison does so much damage that 90% of the time when you teleport back to your to your teleporter, you probably get there with like 200 HP, and the burst healing is probably like 800, and then the dot will just kill you like before the healing even goes through. So I just think that they need to just, you know, tone her down a little bit. She needs to be nerfed. Like, I heard that they nerfed her and buffed her and nerfed her. She needs to be nerfed. And that's coming from a player that's been playing the game for a couple of days. And I can already see that this character is a problem because she's in damn near every single game. And when she's not in every game, the games are very competitive and very close. But when she's in the game, damn near every time you're going to see her just getting on a, a complete rampage and just like killing the entire enemy team. And nobody's going to be able to do anything because she's that strong. So uh, that's the only real complaint I have about the game. Um, I like the maps. The maps are really cool. They all seem really balanced. There isn't a good side or a bad side um, to map, um, from what I see. Um, everything feels really fluid. The mechanics of the game and all the characters, they all feel really good. Um, they have enough difference between them and other games to where it makes it feel enjoyable to play and kind of fresh. Um, so yeah, I think that overall this is a good game. You're going to see a lot of more gameplay of this game from me. I have a lot of you know, different gameplays I want to put up, and also I want to be bringing a montage, because I am shitting on people in this game, boy, I tell you, I'm shitting on them, but anyway, guys, it's the end of my commentary, it's been your boy Gatsu, I'm going to bring you guys some more gameplay, i probably start live streaming again soon, I don't know when, um, OBS has been really trash, so I'm using, uh, the NVIDIA Shadow Play that's on my capture card in my computer or whatever, graphics card or whatever it is, and it's really good, so I'm gonna start using that. Uh, the only thing is, is just when I start my sh when I start my stream, it um, I have to like change the title and stuff.
it just was like I'm automatically streaming my desktop and stuff like that. So, but after that, I'm gonna be definitely bring you guys gameplay. This is basically the recording from my capture card, so that's why I wasn't bringing a lot of Overwatch and other games because uh, the quality of my, the recording was so bad and so pixelated that I just couldn't I couldn't stand uploading the video because then I would watch it myself and just be like, this shit is garbage. Like, nobody wants to watch this. I don't want to watch it. Um, so. Definitely bringing you guys some more high-end quality uh, to my channel and basically to my stream. It's basically increasing everything using this um, program. So No more pixelated streams, no more garbage no more frame drops and all this other stuff. It's going to be nice, good. Um, the Division is coming out. I might do something with that. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I know I'm going to be playing it, but we'll see how like the in-game content multiplayer is. And yeah, we'll just go from there. I don't know what other games are coming out. Uh, Pokémon's coming out soon, so I might be doing some things with that because I love fighting games. Um, so we'll see. We'll see about that. But anyway, guys, it's been your boy King Solo. Oh, also, new League of Legends characters coming out. Aurelian Soul, basically, aka Ao Shin, for three years. They put him in the back burner for three years because they tried to copy Smite's. Um, <laughs> they tried to take Ao Shin from Smite, and they couldn't fucking do it. They couldn't put it in the game, so rip, rip Riot Games. We got a new dragon though, so I'll be bringing um, gameplay of him from the PVE uh, very soon. I think he comes on PVE tomorrow, and I don't work all day tomorrow, and I'm pretty much only working like um, early morning. So basically, when I get home around like uh, 12 a.m. not 12 a.m. but 12 p.m. Um, Eastern time, I will be streaming. Um, Streaming this, I'll be streaming Paladins, I'll be streaming League of Legends, PB with Aurelian Soul, and hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Come out, check it out. Uh, Twitch is twitch.tv slash king underscore solo. I wanted to change my name, but I'm not rich, and I'm not famous enough to do that. Uh, if you guys know how to change your name, or if there's like steps you have to go through with Twitch to do that, let me know, because I would like to change it, because I don't even go by King Solo anymore, because I don't even play on Xbox that much, and so I'm going to change that gamer tag on Xbox anyway. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. You guys see me raping with some Cassie. I'm going to bring you guys some Knesset gameplay. Um, probably tomorrow or in a couple of days. I have some gameplay on my computer. Um, and I'm so sad because I just didn't record this game where I was just like destroying everybody in payload. On the attacking side as Knessa and everybody on my team was like crying like, Oh my god, you picked the sniper for attack. You're going to be useless. And then I go like 20-0. And they all started trying to add me after the game. I'm just like, oh, you remember you guys said I suck and this and that? GG. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Uh, you might see it like the little triple kill and a double kill delayed Penta um, in a couple minutes or so. But anyway, guys, boy Gatsu. Peace.
Time's ticking. Oh. 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 Oh.